Like that, I hope you do too. Get ready for some bending strings. One of the coolest things you can do on an electric guitar <laughs> is to bend it and shake it. And we don't want to break it. And what is it? Besides the string, you don't want to break your fingers. And so to prevent that, we need as much strength as possible. How do we do that? We make the giant finger, which is to take your fingers and put them together as a team. So when I'm doing this bend, I'm not just getting one little lonely finger on there and shaking it around. Putting three together. The third finger is making the note. The note is D. I'm showing it to you like that so you can see it. But as soon as I want to bend it, I put the team of fingers on there, the giant finger, and I bend it up. Now, how do I do that? How do I bend it up? It's wrist driven. So the wrist twists. The fingers are mostly locked into place from what I can tell. And it's the wrist kind of pulling back and twisting that brings that giant finger up and allows you to control it and, and do with it as you please. All right, so we're doing a shuffle groove. The next thing we do after that bend and shake is we drop the bend, which is pretty easy to do because you just drop it back to where it was. There it was in D. And then we're immediately from there going to pull it off. Now pull off, in my experience teaching, you got to make sure you do a pull off with a lot of strength as well. And again, we're going to get the most strength from the twist of the wrist. So like that. And so coming out of our bend, like that. Let's try that. One, two, three, two, two, three. Like that. All right, now I'm going to take that and I'm going to put another note on. That note is A, our root. I'm kind of squeezing all those in, that drop and that pull off and that A. That's such, that's maybe the most important guitar lick that I know on electric guitar and I'm glad, glad I can share it with you. All right, one subtle little thing that I think is important is of the two bends, I'm doing them a little bit differently. The first one I'm trying to do smooth, so that I'm just dropping it real smooth. And the second one, I'm putting some anger in it. It's a whole different face on that one. So the first one's smooth. Hear that difference, smooth and angry? All right, so after we do that, we're going to end with a... Oh, that's good, too. That's an angry A note. And this one's a little bit different from a technical standpoint because, watch my thumb. It's no longer over the neck in the same way that the first bend was. The first bend, the neck, the thumb just hanging right over it, helping me squeeze it together. But when I hit the vibrato going down, this is an upward bend. When we do the vibrato down towards the ground, in order to, to give our wrist, the freedom it needs to do that twist, the thumb has to rise up a little bit. Off the, off the edge. So it's just sort of hanging in the air. All right, now we're getting really into the details here. We're going to do this over a blues progression, and the next part is when it gets to the, the five chord, the E, we're just going to hit an A note. That's a really good choice, I think. You're going, so just use the giant finger and shake that note around. You don't really have to bend it to a different pitch. You just take the pitch that it is already and like 
that. I'm going to guess, so the four chord, we're going to do the same thing, but end it with a C note. We're going to do a little upward bend with the first finger, if you can. And then for the very end, we're going to do the same lick that we did at the beginning, but an octave higher. And then I have a special little ending for you, and then turn around when it goes. Let me play that again. C, A, C, A. And then three chromatic notes. E, D sharp, D. And that's that whole thing for you. So this, you now are armed with the giant finger. Very important. Thumb over the neck for the upward bends. And thumb over the neck, but back a little bit so it's loose for the downward vibrato. All right, one more time. One, two, three, two, two, three. I like that very much. I hope you do too. Rock and roll.